What's going on, everybody? Z here. Welcome back to a new game. And oh my gosh, I saw this game whilst I was gone, and I could not get, wait to get back to play it. We are checking out Railroads Online now. If you, uh, if you're even if you're not like a railroad fan or like you know you know, a rail fan or whatever you want to call it. I think this game might interest some people. So let me give it a quick and dirty on it and what's going on. So basically, you have a railroad, right? You have to build your railroad. You get trains. Uh, you do things. You you can build rails, bridges, facilities, groundwork. You can get new locomotives. Uh, you can get new carts, things like that. And you drive them around. And it looks super fun. It's online, so you can play with your friends. You can play with your buddies. And uh, yeah, I'm just I'm just so excited about it. Now, it is a sandbox style game, so you can kind of do whatever you want. But you can see there are uh, like there are things that you want to go to. So we have like our freight depot, which is where we're currently at. And then over there, um, kind of like the arrow pointing uh, logging camp, sawmill, smelter, iron ore mine, ore fills, iron works, refinery, coal mine. All wonderful things that we could play with our train with. So we're going to hop on in. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do like subscribe, all the fun things link down below if you want to check it out. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and let's take a peek here because I got to familiarize myself with this thing. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot of familiarizations. So I think we okay, so we can hit F to enter this guy. And then we have our regulator, we have a reverser, brake, whistle, generator, compressor, all this stuff. So we have boiler pressure, air, uh, air brake pressure, water temperature, water level, and fuel temperature and fuel. So I believe I have to grab these and throw them in here like that. So now if I look at 49.9, oh shoot, that's right. As soon as you start throwing fuel in, it starts utilizing it and starting getting stuff. Okay, oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm excited, I'm so excited. Um, and then we also have water right here. So let's see here. What was our water level at? Water level was at 500, which is like maxed out. So we're good there. All right, so basically what we need to do with, hold on, do we have like a, okay, so tab, that's me. Um, close. G brings up our menu, or like our building menu. Um, I, T, what is, whoa. I don't know what T did. That's weird. <laughs> I don't know what that's doing. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how to see how much monies I have. Escape? No. Okay, here we go. We got some controls. We got some basic controls here. Oh, lean left, lean right, enter vehicle, uh, toggle vehicle UI, open regulator, close regulator. Oh, so you can actually, we could set up uh, some controls and stuff like that. If we get into this, we might actually, uh, I might actually set up some like, like you know, hotkeys and stuff like that. Uh, interaction help. Is it P? Yeah. Okay. So we have two, <laughs> we have two thousand dollars right now. Now I think what we need to do is i think we in order to start making money we need to start let's kind of pop over here what is this building okay so this is our freight depot what does the freight depot do it looks like a warehouse of sorts it looks like a warehouse or something hmm because i know we need to i know we need to get a track going to the logging area in order to start making some money um but i'm trying to think do we sell it here yeah, so I, I think we get the logs. I think we can sell them here. So we need to get some track laying out. We got to get some things going. And I've heard that the track laying in this game is kind of a little bit of a trick. So this is going to be my first time trying to figure this out. We're going to try to do it. Now, the area that we're trying to go to, let's see. I want, I want to get like a visual of like where we're going before I lay the track. So I kind of have an idea of where we're we're supposed to be going here now these trees you can see these trees like right here uh we can remove them however that costs two dollars per tree to remove so we're gonna try to remove as few trees as we can because we don't have uh any money right now and we don't really have a way to get money so we've got to get this first line up and running asap um oh gosh it's like way over here. i can't even see i don't even know where it's at oh uh, let's go look oh I, I think i see something right here is, is this, is this, wait, what is this? Or is this just a hill? I think it's just, just a hill. Darn it. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be something more than a hill. I can't see anything. Where are we? Oh. Man, it's kind of a ways over there, isn't it? 
So I'm going to say we definitely want to go around these hills if we can, because uh, inclines, declines, things like that. You don't really want those with a train. Um, we are going to have to add some eventually. Oh, wait, did I see something over there? There's just a rock face over there. Um, yeah, we're going to have to add some eventually. But you only like really want to max out like a 2% incline um, from what I know of very little about railroads. <laughs> Oh, that's really pretty. Look at that view right there. Oh, nice. Uh, still trying to find this this logging camp. <gasps> Where are you? <gasps> oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. So we definitely have got some hills to deal with here. All right. So this is our logging camp. This is where we want to get our tracks going to. Now, I believe one side is regular logs let's go over here and take a peek so we've got logs over here logging camp oh it's like refilling over time oh very cool okay so we've got a logging camp we've got our our log oh uh, oh darn it i'm stuck now so i got I got stuck on the logs and i got sent all the way back here that's fine that's fine um I guess we'll go ahead and we'll start laying some track down. Now, I believe that the, I don't think the track actually costs anything. I don't think the groundwork in the track actually costs anything to actually set down. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to try to get a nice line set out and I'm going to try to figure this out because it's, like I said, I think it's kind of wonky, but we're going to try. Um, so let's go ahead and let's actually, I keep hitting escape to get out of menus. And that is not the right key to press is to press G. Okay, so we, we've got this spot right here. This groundwork is already laid out. And then our groundwork stops here. So let's go into G. Let's do groundwork, variable grade, constant grade. Let's go, let's do, we'll do variable grade, I guess. I mean, it's not gonna really matter. Okay, and then, um, Let's see, gradient zero, curve radius left and right, edit curve radius, edit gradient, left alt, curve radius. So let's see, okay. I, I think this is straight, now this is what everybody said, is like getting the stuff straight is the hardest part. But I think we can do this once we get that one placed. I think we can actually hit alt and then that'll make it go straight. Okay, cool. So I'm going to bring this one just basically way out here because we've got some, uh, we got some curves and we got some hills to go across and stuff. All right. Can I look at the map while I'm doing this? Oh, I can. Okay. So let's do, uh, let's do a little bit of a curve in here. Curve radius X and Y. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, curve radius 1% for every 100 feet. Uh, you know what? Let's see. 1% curve, 0%. Wait, it's X and Y. So that would take us... Over here, we need a little bit more of a tighter curve. Now, I don't know what the max curve radius, like the the ideal curve radius is uh, in real like real life trains, but I'm just gonna keep going. Looks like that's about as far as I can go. And I think I can continue on. going this way now you can see the curve is like all kinds of wonky right now and i think it's because we need to make it longer to like to level it out now that is actually level with what we started with which is actually kind of nice we don't have a gradient at all okay so let's shoot with that one and then let's go ahead and get rid of our curve radius here let's see which way are we facing now okay we're facing a good way Okay, so I set this area right here. Uh, it's a big, huge, nice, long, straight section, but we need to figure out... I actually kind of want to work a little bit backwards from the logging area because I know the logging area has some hills next to it, and I'd like to kind of weave between the hills if I could. 
and just get like a like a, a nice little you know section to connect to okay so here's where we're going to be connecting to and it looks like regardless we're gonna have to have a gradient because i actually kind of need to go back this way we're gonna have to have a slight gradient going downhill through here maybe oh but there's another hill right there Ooh, actually, it looks like we might be able to pop through right here. Because we've got a big hill right there. don't really want to go over that. We've got a hill on this side. don't really want to go over that. I kind of want to, like, stay... Of course, it looks like it gets really hilly over here. We almost might have to loop around from the front of it. We might actually have to go that way and around these hills. Yeah, because this, this hill, like, gets much bigger. All right, yeah, I think we're going to go actually through the front right here. Uh, and that's because the hills on this side, there's, there's, we got some serious hills uh, kind of blocking that whole area. Okay, so I know we need track next to these, uh, next to the cranes here. So let's go ahead and let's do some groundwork. Uh, do we just select, I guess, maybe right here? Boy, the groundwork's already there. I don't really like that, though. I kind of want the groundwork to be a little bit higher than everything else, you know? Unless this is specifically already groundwork, it might actually already be groundwork. You know what? I'm going to try to connect it from this side. Why not? We're going to we're gonna just slightly grade it, and we'll, we'll figure it out, um, I think. Actually, I wonder how much ground, how high can groundwork be? Like, what if we just don't lower the groundwork? <laughs> you know what I mean? Can we can we just get it to curve up over the next hill? Like, is that, is that a thing? Oh, it might actually be. All right, so the groundwork has been laid out. Um, it's it it started off as like, okay, we want to make this as perfect as possible, and then it ended with whatever works. <laughs> so the groundwork is laid out. Now I'm hoping that that's gonna make it easier for us to lay the rail out, because then I just have to follow the groundwork that I've already laid. Um. And it's not great. It's not great. I ended up like s like curving through the little uh, the little hills by the logging camp, and uh, we're gonna we're, we'll see how this works. I don't know. Now another thing that we actually need to do is I actually need to make a rail line going into uh, next to this freight depot to in order to sell everything. But uh, first things first, let's just see if we can get a line going to the logging place and see if we can actually get anything going here. So we have some rails. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to build rails. Um, three foot rail, three foot rail deck. Oh, that's kind of cool. Turntable, turntable two crossover. All right. So three foot rail. Um, I want the link here. And then we're going to make this as straight as possible. That doesn't really look straight, does it? That looks pretty straight. Okay. Let's go like that. We'll hit alt. That should snap it to be straight and then oh my gosh can these only be okay i clicked but it didn't place it oh man how long can these actually be all right um i guess i'm gonna go through oh my groundwork right there looks a little messed up that's fine and I'm going to try to place these all the way to the depot. <laughs> um, shoot, we're curving. Okay, so I've placed track down to this point. I'm like halfway there. This, um, so I'm going to tell you right now, this is, uh, it's a little, it's a lot more finicky than one would think. Um, getting the track to place, it doesn't want to place like you you'll have a section here and then it, you'll just click it and it won't place and you click and click and click and then you have to like move around you click and click and click all over and it just like never places and then it's like eventually it's like okay i'll place now um so yeah that's a pain also getting this track lined up with the groundwork that's already here almost impossible uh as you can see it kind of <laughs> it's kind of like back and forth a little bit and it's just gonna be like that i don't right now at this point in the stage of the game and stuff like that i'm not super worried about it um it is super early access game and i believe that they're probably gonna make tools to make things a little bit better and once those tools are available and once they you know kind of like maybe finesse some things then we'll go back through and we'll we'll fix things up 
So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to go through. I'm going to not hit that. We're going to remove some trees. Oh, wait, actually, it's logging, isn't it? We're going to take these trees out and then I'm just going to give the uh, we're going to give we're going to give the little uh, the little rail guy our little tiny steam train um, a try. Is this going to disappear? OK, cool. So I'm going to remove everything. I'm going to remove everything off the line itself. I don't know if there's going to be collision with well, You know what, though? Rail carts and stuff like that. Once we have uh, once we have stuff going. Yeah, we're going to need to take all these out. Wait, can I seriously? Is it one at a time? Oh, there we go. OK, awesome. I'm going to take these trees out and we're going to give a we're going to give our little our little locomotive a go. Oh, my gosh, this section right here looks terrible <laughs> we're gonna try it i don't care we're gonna send it all right the logging has completed oh god that looks so bad whatever it is what it is like i said i'm i'm just thinking that they're going to uh, eventually kind of polish some things like you know railroad building and things like that and i don't want to spend my time trying to perfect that part of it because i mean ultimately i want to see you know i want to haul stuff from point a to point b i just want the railroad to work i don't need it to look pretty right now we can always make it look pretty later uh okay let's see all of these trying to get all these out of here now every time i cut down a tree it does cost me two dollars which means kind of unfortunate but it is what it is all right let's do it let's try this out okay so we've got our little uh oh he's still running nice let's go over here let's go ahead and let's get up uh let's see what we got so water temperature is only at 10. Oh, it's because we're out of fuel. So let's go ahead and let's grab these, throw them in here. What are we at now? Fuel. I just threw 50. I just threw fuel in there. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead. Brake reverser. 100% means forward. And then the regulator is going to control our speed. But we have to. Oh, we have boiler pressure. Um, oh, we got to take the brake off, though. <gasps> oh, look at us go. Look at us go. What's up, Betsy? <laughs> and max brake. Uh, you know what? We probably actually need to hook on. Let's hook onto this cart. Why not? Come on, little bit. Let's go. Why did I just water temperature, water level, fire? Oh, I used like all my boiler pressure to uh, to get from there to there. <laughs> okay, all right. Let's wait for this to get. Uh, I guess warmed up, huh? We need to get the water temperature to 100. I think this is all in Celsius. So, oh, we got a bell. We have a sander. I don't know if we actually have a sander or not on this. Um, basically, what a sander does is okay can you stop 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 it stop it hey no more okay uh basically what a sander does is it places sand down in front of the wheels so that way uh it can get a little bit more traction on the rails which is kind of interesting stop that stop that bell <laughs> <laughs> okay uh we gotta wait for uh we gotta wait for a little bit of water here or a little bit of water pressure oh betsy oh betsy you're so good actually you know what we probably do we have any way to get to hold on slow over that oh hello okay all right we're good let's let that do its thing um now i think we needed to put a pin on here And then a pin in here. Maybe not. I'm not actually sure how to do this part. Um, enter vehicle. Are those connected? I don't think those are connected, though. Let's go in reverse a little bit. Take that break off. Definitely not connected. Okay, so you're not connected. So can I click and drag you to this? I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be a thing. 
Oh, here we go. Okay, left mouse button plus drag up, add link. Left mouse button, drag up, add a link. Right mouse button plus down, add a pin. Are they connected? I don't know if they're connected or not. Left mouse button plus drag up equals add a link. I don't know that there's actually anything here. There's nothing like connected. It doesn't look like it. No, there's definitely nothing there. Okay, see that added a link. See, I can see that link. But it's not doing on this one. Maybe I'm too close. <laughs> I can't get it to work. I can't get this stupid thing to work. See, it adds a link on that one. Up, down. Okay. I want you to do it on this one. <sighs> oh, I think I was too close. Okay. All right. I guess that makes sense. Uh, let's see. Turn break off. Regulator up. And a little boopsie. Let's see. Let's throw a pin. And a pin. Hey! Oh my gosh. I think we're connected. Because it, it moved. Did you see it move? I saw it move. Okay, hold on. Let's verify. Verify the connection. Uh, oh, fuel's out. Hold on. Let's grab that. Throw it back in here. Make sure she's good. Okay. Uh, let's go break. Regulator. Oh, we're moving. Oh, it's amazing. Okay. All right. Let's check out our tracks, shall we? Um, is there not a way to zoom out any further? Wow. Okay. All right. Break 100% regulator. Let's just cruise at like a... Let's get to like a cruising speed here. Oh, you know what? Water temperature. We should be good. Oh, you know what? Shoot. There's a break on this. Um... Drag left, drag right, close. Okay, so I wanna open it. Did it go? Okay, so that should be open. Brake should be good, reverser. 30%. Down. Uh, no. Oh! Oh, we're rolling! We're rolling! <sighs> Oh my gosh, we are rolling. Oh, this is such a magnificent moment. Okay. Now you're going to notice the shimmy. The shimmy. The shimmy is because there's physics. Holy jeez, Louise. We are cruising here. Um, the shimmy is because there's physics, I guess, based in the game. To where, like, if you stop too hard or if, like, you turn too fast, or, like, you can derail very easily. Like, you can derail the train. So, we're just going to cruise the line that I already made here, and we're going to see how well everything works. Um, hopefully we don't have any derail action. This thing right there is a sharp turn. We're going to have to fix that, but you know what? Like I said, we'll fix it later. So, I think what I'm going to do is, I think between episodes, I think I'm going to finish connecting the line because it's nothing super exciting. <laughs> Trust me when I say, <laughs> laying the track is not super exciting. Oh, look at us go, look at us go. I feel like we're going fast enough. Well, I feel like we're going fast enough. I'm honestly scared to go any faster. Uh, you know what? Let's send it. Holy Jesus, super loud. Okay. Okay. We're cruising. Look at how, like, not straight my track is. I know. It's terrible. I don't care. <laughs> we'll fix it later. Like I said, we'll, we'll, we'll get her fixed up once. I think once they, once they tweak some stuff and make the, make some changes, I think we'll get her fixed up nice. Oh, look at us go. Oh, we can't access the map while we're in here, though. Darn. Now I'm trying to pay attention to where my track actually ends. Oh, this is awesome. Now, one thing I would like to see, I don't know if they're going to have it. 
um, but for like control options, if you can make a hotkey for like regulator, like 10%, 20%, 30%, 40%, you know what I mean? And like all of those, that way you can have like some, some hotkeys or some buttons that it's just like, okay, I want regulator 100% reverse or 100% break at zero. You know what I mean? Just like you toggle things real fast. Uh, that'd be super cool. I don't know if that's going to become a thing or not. I hope it does because this game is really cool. Um, okay. I think that's the end of my track right there. So let's turn that down. And then let's go ahead and let's apply some breakage. Oh, look at that. Reverser. Negative 100 break, negative 100, and regulator. Let's go back up to 30. And now we're going to go this way. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> so with the uh, the, reg the reverser, negative 100 is reverse and 100% is forward. I know it's kind of confusing because it says like reverser, but... It is what it is. And then this guy, I don't believe this train has a generator or a compressor. Now, I'm not 100% sure what generators and compressors do. Um, I I believed, my belief was that generators ran a, uh, like a, a steam powered turbine that provided power to the locomotive, like lights and stuff like that. However, these locomotives look a little bit older than that. So I'm not sure what the generator does in here. And then the compressor, I believe that has to do with like, the faster the train goes, the the more pressure it can make. Essentially, kind of like a turbo charger, I guess. I don't know. So we'll have to play with those in the future. But oh my gosh, this is super exciting. And this is Railroads Online. So thank you so much for coming out. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to see more, make sure you leave a like. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you want to see. And let me know what you think about the track. Do you think the track... Hold on. Let's just, let's just coast. Do you think that my track is actually that bad? I'm, I'm thinking it's fine for now. I want to I wanna check out what there is to do. You know, I don't want to spend all my time uh, worrying about perfecting the track when, like I said, I think since it's so early access, I feel like they're going to make the track laying a little bit easier. I feel like there's some tweaks they can make to it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm super curious. But yes, thank you so much for coming out. This, again, is Railroads Online. I'll have a link down below if you want to check it out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everybody. Wait, where's the, where's the, where's the error? Where's the, 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 the toot toot? There's got to be one in here somewhere. Is it this one? Yeah. There we go. There we go. <laughs> All right. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next one.